Giga Texas is 94% done, even with the outside in shambles, and I'll show you exactly why. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A quick thanks to the newest Patreon, Andy Hamilton. Thank you for your support. And please smack the like button early so YouTube knows to actually show this video to others. It's free and appreciated. Well, the home stretch is truly here with the last bits of framing done last week, leaving only the roof and interior to go. There's not much left to track, but the equation from the very first installment of this series almost a year ago has held up remarkably well. I've seen comments saying there's no way it's 90% done since there's still so much bare dirt around the site. Without final pavement and landscaping, can we really call it done? Well, no. Not 100% done, anyhow. The first thing to realize is that a fair amount of this is already done, at least in terms of the heavy concrete areas. Concrete slabs go in a lot more quickly than site prep or the caissons for footings, and asphalt goes in significantly quicker still. Sure, the parking lot isn't paved, but it doesn't have to be to hold employee cars, and when the time comes, they'll burn through that in a matter of days. All of these elements are underway, and this week we've seen a lot of sod and potted plants brought in, and new pavement as well. The reason these aren't counted separately in the tracker is because on other construction sites, specifically Giga Shanghai, these were finished during the 17-week period between the walls going up and the official completion. So since it's already captured neatly by another bit of the existing math, there's no need to complicate things by tracking it on its own. More importantly, according to recent filings, five of the major production areas at Giga Texas will be complete on or before December 31st, with some of the permits already issued. Those are the stamping, casting, body and white, paint, and general assembly areas. In other words, everything you need to build a Model Y apart from the battery cell production, which initially will be handled by the Cato Road facility. The first three projection videos in this series from back in 2020 showed an estimated completion between December 16th and December 27th, and it looks like it's gonna be just about in that range. Were it not for the record-breaking ice and rainstorms, who knows how much closer it would have been. The only real tracker-related news this week is the progress on the roof, which increased nicely in the central corridor before the holiday break brought the site to a virtual standstill. My big question for you guys is where the heck do you think the loading and logistics lot will be for the new cars they make? There isn't much room along the highway or at the north and south ends of the building. Will they go under the power lines? or up by the casting cathedral? Will they chop off part of the parking lot and make employees walk farther or use a shuttle? Will they put them all the way on the east side of the property or on the other side of the highway? What's your guess? So let's take a look at the progress graph. The site prep and footings were finished a month ago with the framing catching up last week, leaving only the roofing and interior work left to count. Not bad. The site's overall progress inched up to 94%. But don't let this rock-solid trend mislead you. It will start slowing significantly after next week as the interior slowly counts up the 17 weeks for each of these final interior squares. The roof picked up a bit, though less than I expected, on account of most of the week being enjoyed in the celebration of family rather than work. This may be finished in the coming week, but it's so close to done, it hardly matters. The interior had a solid week, but since we're down to fewer than 50 squares left to first mark as complete, this rate will only slow from here out until the end. If you want to better understand the methodology behind this count, look back through some of the previous videos in the series or ask specific questions in the comments below. Isn't it a bit unfair to count a square as interior when I can clearly see inside and it's obvious nothing has been done yet? Well, yes, because if the space is already closed off to the elements on three sides, it's underway. 
The first week counted gives a weighting of zero. So just because it's marked doesn't mean it's complete, just that it's in progress and the count has likely begun. I'm still considering how best to count the final north and south ends toward the interior since the walls aren't up, but I'm confident the solution will present itself at the appropriate time. So let's take a look at the site map for this week and go from there. I'm not going to focus as much on the Phase 2 extension since they've paved part of this area, and it's unclear if it's even meant to take place right away or much later. So this is what Giga Texas looks like as of November 29th, 2021. And let's roll it back to December 14th of 2020 when this tracker first launched and go through it as we do week of a week. To understand the site map, this is the overall footprint of the main building. The orange is the footings, with the darker orange being heavier footings. The gray is the framing work, with the darker gray indicating roof sections. In blue, you see the finished interior closed off space, with darker blue indicating more floors. Yes, we tracked the floors. So the darker the blue, the more floors that there are. The black lines indicate a firewall or expansion joint, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete wall. And as a reminder, this only tracks the main emerald footprint, not any of the other projects around the site, since we haven't seen permits and we don't know what their eventual size and scope will be. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So there it is, and there you go. As of November 29th, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Sabatruck, is 94% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 529 days from groundbreaking on or about New Year's Day. It will obviously be done in some capacity well before then, and also not completely done until sometime quite a bit later as more areas of the factory come online. At this point, completion is more a matter of how you personally decide to count it. The building is 24% single floor, 53% two floors, 18% three floors, and 4% four floors. By my estimate, the final interior area is 9 million square feet, or 835,492 square meters. So what do you think? Will the factory be essentially done in 33 more days? Assuming we don't account for the long tail of interior work? Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast and a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. Don't forget to tune in Tuesday at 4 p.m. Pacific for another episode of the Fast Charging with B&B podcast, co-hosted by Bear from Bear's Workshop. We talk about all things EV, not just Tesla, although it does still make its way into the show. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below. And as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the production side of this very quarter. And a quick thank you to my amazing gracious Patreons who get early access bonus content, help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month, a Giga Texas size thank you to all of you for your generosity and support, which helps keep me going in spite of YouTube's dreaded and painful algorithm. Thank you all so much. And for those of you who stuck it out to the end, here's your overtime bonus. Look at all this steel in the Project Bobcat area. Supplies for a major project require significant lead time, so it appears these were ordered back when the site prep for this area was underway. Joe Tetmeyer caught a look at one of the tags on them when a truck was parked by the off-ramp and saw it said it was for a cathode building. They're going to start building this pretty soon. I mean, we thought, some of us thought that this steel was going to be for the main structure, but 
the main structure's got all its steel, so... Yeah, they're gonna start this pretty soon, don't you think? They just have to. Can't leave all this material out in the elements forever. Thoughts?